Hello and Happy New Year. I got five books in here from CGC. Now, the total cost of these books is actually about 75 bucks. For the purpose of this video, I really want to highlight how you can enjoy this hobby without investing a ton of money in comic books. So these books are they're great books, but they're not super high dollar books. I'm hoping they're worth more now than the $75 invested. But just let me know in the comments, what are some not so valuable books that you still love and enjoy? What are your favorite books that you can still pick up for a reasonable price, like eight, ten dollars or less or whatever? Even stuff from the Copper Age or maybe even Bronze Age. There's some great books out there that are not necessarily huge keys or valued a ton of money, but they're just valued by collectors as in we value them. Not that they're in super high demand or anything like that. So just let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what are some books because, hey, maybe they're ones that I might want to pick up and they're off my radar or whatever. So I appreciate that if you would do that. So let me go ahead and get these five unboxed and we'll go through them and we'll talk about why I like these books and we'll find out what the grades are. Okay, our first book is an homage. It is of Spider-Man 1. This is Spawn number 327. Now, a lot of people love... This cover, the old McFarlane thing where there's been a million homages made of this. But if you're into that, you can definitely collect all of those books, most of them, except for a couple, and not pay too much money. I think I paid eight bucks for this one. And uh, it's only, it's less than a year old. This is a ultra modern book. But I mean, if you collect this book, <laughs> the homages of this book, then, you know, you can still do that fairly cheaply. So, yeah, I picked this up whenever I see it, and I didn't actually catch it when it came out last year, but I got it for eight bucks. I can still basically get it almost for cover price, maybe double cover price, whatever. So, yeah, I got this in, it was 100% a of 9.8 already. Um, there was, I don't even remember if there was a defect on it. I didn't press this book. There were zero defects on this book. So, of course, if there's zero defects on a book, what are we expecting to get? <laughs> a 9.8, right? Okay, so we got our 9.8. No doubts there. 100% a 9.8 book, so a good start. And most of these books, or all of these books in this, should be ultra high grade books. But yeah, I just love that cover. And I keep a copy of this on the wall. I already have a 9.8. This is my second 9.8. You know, I just, I think it's a book that's going to have a little bit of value, even though there's a million of them out there. And I think it's a good investment. If you can get it for $8 and invest 40 or 50 in it, I think you can, you know, long term have a pretty good investment. I don't think it's going to go down in price, right? So the next one is a Secret Wars, and uh, this is number nine. Of course, number eight being the big one, ten is actually my personal favorite. But yeah, I mean, all of the ones in the series have some value to them. But I got this one for $13. Not too bad, right? And of course, I'm putting the values of these on the screen. I don't know the values of these off the top of my head, but I know in high grade this is definitely worth at least that or more. And so yeah, this one I thought uh, would be a 9.8. And it was a 9.2, I thought, when I got it in. So it definitely had some defects, but they were all pressable defects. So the book looks flawless right now as I'm looking at it. And, uh, I mean, this, this book has a lot going for it. There's a lot to love on this. If, if you're a favorite of numerous characters, you would want to have this in your collection. I mean, you got Captain America, Thor, The Thing. I mean, you name it. They're pretty much on this cover. Just about, I don't even know what percentage. I mean, you got Wolverine here, The Hulk. You know, Cyclops, Galactus, Iron Man. I mean, just go down the list. There's a million different characters on this book. And it's a great battle scene. So for not much money, you can get a book that has a lot of your favorite characters on it and enjoy it. So, yeah. So this is number nine. And I'm hoping for the 9.8 on this book. Wow, we somehow got a 9.6 on a flawless book. Yeah, and if there's any graders notes, of course, I put it on there. But that's a surprise. I mean, this book is a 9.85, <laughs> as I always say. It's not even close. Wow, this book is just flawless. I don't know if I would resubmit this, but... I mean, there is nothing wrong. When I put zero defects, I go over these things. You know, anybody that's been following this channel knows how meticulous I am. I, I That's a mystery to me. This is a 9.8, so maybe a crack... But I'll look it over just to make sure I didn't miss something crazy. But wow. So um, the last uh, submission I thought I had slightly harsh grader. So maybe same guy did these. I don't know. And by the way, before I forget, Happy New Year to everybody. 
I've got my festive colors on here. It's actually 10 degrees out right now here in South Carolina. So it's a little bit cold in this room I'm in. So I've got the, the jacket on here. But yeah, um, also recovering from a little bit of a cold. If I sound kind of weird, that's that's why. So yeah, let's hope we don't have more harsh grades in this because that that was a huge surprise there. That's definitely a 9.8 book. So the next one is Web of Spider-Man number 97. And this is an underrated book, I believe. And I got this one for about $13 as well. And it's the first appearance of uh, Kevin Trench. I mean, obviously it becomes Nightwatch later on. <clears throat> so, you know, this is kind of off a lot of people's radar, but it is a potential future, might, maybe even a slightly big key. Who knows? So you can pick this up for cheap, and I highly recommend if you're a fan you know, of Nightwatch, then go ahead and pick this up. So yeah, once again, this is a 9.8 book. And uh, I didn't put any notes on it. And when I just put 9.8 with no notes, probably close to zero to one to two defects at the most. But of course, I cleaned and pressed this one and hopefully got it to that 9.8. Okay, we did get the 9.8 on this one, so that's cool. So I did not have this one in the collection. And I saw this on another channel as a off-the-radar potential key that could have some value in the future. So I thought I would try and pick up a raw copy, clean and press it, and get my 9.8, and we got it. So that's good. So if you know anything else about any of these books while I'm going through these, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about it. And the next one, we got two more, is one of, I've featured several times on this channel. It's Early McFarlane Art, and it's uh, All-Star Squadron number 47. Uh, it's the uh, origin of Dr. Fate. And this one, I believe, was my lowest grade copy of all of these in the submission. And But I still thought it had a potential of a 9.4 to a 9.6. Didn't have a whole lot wrong with it. This is the one I paid the most money for. I wouldn't say I overpaid, though. I got it for $42, and I thought, based on the online pictures, that maybe it could get a 9.8. Of course, when I got it in, it had some issues. <clears throat> so I think it's still a good investment at $42, even if I got a 9.4 on it. So let's hope we got the 9.4, at least. That is very confusing to me. If this is the same grader that gave me the 9.6 on The Secret Wars, this book is a million times nicer than this one. I mean, a million times. <clears throat> this one has defects that I thought would cap it at that 9.4, 9.6 maybe. And this one I thought has zero defects. So I'm not sure. I'll definitely have to look that one over. And if I do it off camera here, I'll put some notes on the screen. Let you know if I found anything oddball, but I, I love having another 9.8 of this. I used to have it on my background here. Now it's up in my McFarland area up here. And uh, yeah, thrilled to get a 9.8 on this book. And uh, I was thrilled to get the 9.8 on, on the other one. I think this one is just as nice or nicer than the 9.8 I got. So it doesn't surprise me, I guess, to get a 9.8. And it looks like a great book. I thought maybe there was a little flaw in this corner here that would hold it back. Does it look like that corner is kind of missing a tiny little piece maybe that's the only flaw in the book maybe that's a common thing on this book yeah it looks like it looks perfect on the back here but yeah we'll definitely take it i mean i would trade a 9.8 for that one over this one any day because i think this one has a lot more value at 9.8 than this one does so yeah definitely happy about that one so so much for the harsh greater notion right so that makes me really curious on that on that Secret Wars. I gotta look at that one closely. So the last one, and certainly not the least one, um, this is one that, you know, first appearance of Forge, but you can still get a really good deal on this one. I got this one for $7. Minor key, I believe, and let me know otherwise. But I mean, look at that cover. I mean, this is just a really cool looking book right here. If you're into just collecting for, or mainly collecting for covers, this is a good one to have. And it is a key, so yeah, pick it up while you can for that price, right? But I thought this one was ultra high grade. I was actually shocked when it came out on how nice it was. It was a 9.2, I thought, but everything on it looked correctable. And I'm pretty sure I was able to get this one to a 9.8. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Okay, 9.6. Now, that's this, this grader is kind of all over the place. This one might potentially definitely be a resubmit. And I'm trying to think of why. There was one issue on this book that I thought there's kind of like a color thing right here. It looks almost like a tape pool, but I I actually pulled up several 9.8 copies of this book, and many of them had this defect right here. 
So I'm almost wondering, did he not know that? I'm going to check notes, but usually they don't put notes on grades. So I was worried that the grader wouldn't know what he was doing potentially and give me a 9.6 because of that. But that is, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm going to look again just to make sure I'm not remembering incorrectly. But I'm pretty sure that is the reason that I probably got it. Because the spine is absolutely ridiculously flawless on this book. Nothing on the back. And uh, I think if you were to call this like a tape pool or color rub, I mean, whatever you would call that. I mean, if you were to count that as that kind of defect, you would have to give this a 9.0 or something, right? Because that's pretty significant looking. And it does detract from the book, but hey, if it was done in production, why is it counting against the grade here? So, but yeah, very interesting couple 9.6s in the submission. A little bit disappointing, but once again, yeah, not complaining because I got the 9.8 here. And I got the other two 9.8s as well. So we have, I don't think we've had that flawless submission yet where I had like five straight books at 9.8. I actually thought it was a slight chance of getting it. I thought the one grade we wouldn't get the 9.8 would be this one. But, you know, it's still 9.6s. They're still beautiful books. Once again, I don't want to start sounding like a brat on this channel because, you know, it's grading is subjective and it's possible that I just missed something as well and we just differ on a couple of the defects. Whatever. It's fine. So I paid... Total of $75, and I'm curious to see because I haven't looked at the numbers on these in ages. So I'm wondering what these books are value now that the market's come down a little bit. So yeah, we'll see what our total submission profit or whatever was in value on this one and just see where we're at. So yeah, once again, let me know in the comments, what are some of your maybe off the radar books or your lower priced books that you still enjoy and you pick up whenever you can? And um, I'd love to hear that and we can... Maybe I can pick up a few of those books and then include them in some unboxings on the channel in, in future videos. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this submission, and I hope you did as well. But, um, once again, Happy New Year. This whole year has been kind of a, a blur for me. It's crazy that we've gone from, like, zero subscribers this year to whatever we're at now, 2,500 plus. So maybe in the new year we can get that up to 2,600 or something like that. Or at least keep what we got because, yeah, I don't... I'm not really doing this to try and grow some huge subscribers or make a lot of money off of the channel or anything like that because you'd be shocked at how little YouTubers make from this traffic. If I was to put the time in that I put into this, making videos and everything, I'd be making, I'd make more to flip burgers at McDonald's or something like that, probably. I would guess I'd probably make a dollar an hour or something off of this, which is, yeah, it's not nothing because I'm going to be doing this anyway and I love the hobby, so, eh. But yeah, once again, it's not about the money. It's about the love of this hobby and sharing it with everybody and, you know, just having a little community built here around it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.